Sometimes, you know, being uh, the first comes at a high price. Uh, our role is to challenge the industry, challenge the big banks and force them to change. Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed the previous episode that we had with a few cool companies. And today I'm super excited to, to welcome Matthias Hellu from 8 Securities now became SoFi. We launched the trade here in Asia and in the rest of the world. You've moved and dovetailed into something else called robo trading. The banks haven't yet delivered anything for the retail customer. I met Mikael in 2000, 20 years ago. Uh, when I sold my company to E-Trade and together uh, we built E-Trade outside the United States. After 10 years, uh, we decided that uh, it would be great to start something new, something, something new again together. Creating our own company was very exciting, but was also, I guess, uh, an answer to a difficult job market at the time. To be able to own a global portfolio, that it can monitor 24 by 7 on its, you know, on any device. And I think also importantly, you can have access to your cash at any time, which, which means you can sell or buy at any time, no restrictions, and the fee is minimal. Welcome to the 8 Securities app launch party. Uh, if we launch a robo investing solution uh, that costs less than 1% in fees, or even sometimes it's free, versus banks that charge 5%. Unless we launch these products, the bank are never going to lower their rates. They have no incentive to do so. So they will continue to rip off the customers forever. Most of people invest by a stock uh, based on the tip. And again, you know, diversification is super important. So uh, that's why we felt that the robo-investing could really fit well in Hong Kong and complement that intuition. In finance, uh, that was part of what made uh, our journey is very exciting. It's find those innovations that are relevant, that are really relevant, that are going to be used. And I think if you find some, uh, you don't necessarily have to invent it. You can also pick something that works really well uh, in another part of the world and import it wherever you are. One of the big challenges at eight, at the early start, you know, convince you know, people to put their money, right. their deposit with right. a, a startup is challenging, right? Exactly. And yeah. sometimes they prefer to put it with uh, a big bank, even if they know that they're going to be ripped off, uh, the emotional side, what people perceive is, is different. As a young fintech company, uh, our role is to challenge the industry, challenge the status quo, challenge the big banks and force them to change, right? Because otherwise they won't change. If you project yourself into a future with your, with your partner, that cultural fit is, is so important, is so important. Some of the SoFi members were doing a tour of Asia, meeting with, meeting with companies and you know, a meeting was set up. And, and very, quick, you know, very quickly what, what became apparent, it was the, right. uh, the similarities with our own platform here in Hong Kong. So we launched SoFi Invest, which is the ability to buy stocks, ETFs, right. or robo-automatic accounts. Right. No fees, no commissions. Obviously, SoFi started with student loan, but moved into investing. And when they moved into investing, it was mobile first, it was free trading, it was <clears throat> robo-investing next to brokerage, uh, crypto. So a, a, lot of, a lot of similarities. So we finally have reached uh, the Victoria Peak uh, here with Matthias. That's yeah. why Anton is a bit out of breath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Matthias looks fine. <laughs> So I would like to say a big thank you. It was an amazing conversation. Uh, I want to say uh, a big good luck. Thank you, Anton. Thank you for having me. And you're, you're right. Luck is a big part of it. So thank you for wishing me luck. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce you my dog called Mishka. And she's going to be insured with one degree with, and with help of Alvin. Mishka, are you happy to be insured? Oh, I know you're happy. <laughs>